This is Twit. Um, I considered making this the top story. Yeah, today because no, this I was going to ask potential. you why you buried this one because it's certainly a I storm didn't mean in to my world. I, I, yep. I, this may be one of the biggest stories of this year. And I know it's just, you know, beginning of April, but yeah. uh, randomly and coincidentally, totally lucky. a Microsoft engineer who was working on benchmarking a Debian distribution in a virtual machine, who's not a, <laughs> not a security guy, wasn't yep. looking at source code, nothing like that, discovered some anomalies in the performance, tied them to a set of one uh, half compression of utilities. One second. This is why you think, this is why OCD is good. <laughs> In our Thank business. you. Because no one else problem. cares about 500 millisecond yep. latency. And yep. And he's like, no, that ain't right. In your SSH. You know, most people would have been like, eh, whatever. Well, yeah. I can't be. He Just reported it. This was a, uh, these were, uh, what's it called? Like XY or whatever the XC. utility. The, XC. Um, yeah. X, it's a, it's a compression these utility you don't really out. see. No. It doesn't usually have a user facing. It is a perfect supply chain. Yeah, yeah, it's a really good So here's, uh, this is, there's so much about the story that's astonishing, but this would have gone out to every, basically every stable Linux distribution yep. in the world. And it could have been one of the biggest technology disasters of all time. But the thing that blows my mind the most, like literally, is that the individual or probably nation state, right, that was responsible for they this think it's an was playing state. the long game. Two yeah. years. They invented a, uh, yeah, two and a half years, I think it was, of a pretend, like a pretend persona who ingratiated himself into this community, started making contributions, started to be trusted, and then just became part of it. And then he unleashed hell. And it would have gone out to the planet, yeah. Except this guy randomly found it, and yeah. it—that is, I, I. This is this story is still unfolding. There's still much more information I think that will come out of it, much like the Microsoft, you know, hack thing from a couple of months ago, whatever. But I, this is, it's just awesome. It, but it's also scary because now, of course, where your brand goes is, oh crap, now. We know anyone could do this. Mm. I mean, well, you, you know, it's not a random kid. No kid's going to do this for no. over two years. But the, the fact that someone played that game for that long and was successful suggests to me and probably to others that like, there are other people could be doing this yeah. or other whatever. Well, and I'll, and I mean, the open source side is one thing because, of course, code, code was visible. So once once you scrutinize, you found it right away. Visible but obfuscated. The he, real he tried to hide yeah, it. They, really did, did. they did a good job yeah, of it, too. It's yeah, very yeah. tricky to find. Um, and I think that's what actually twigged him was when he went looking for why is this is delayed and he couldn't see yeah. anything and yeah. it was just too clever. Then, he, you know, the hair stood up in the back of his neck like that's strange. Yeah. I better call somebody. What about, I mean, a classic, the, the real sort of um, mole approach, become a Microsoft right. employee. Spend two yep. years until you're contributing to it. Yeah, you know, card keying your way in and out of building. inside of Azure. Yep. Kevin King, do it you have anything like a, you want to tell us, like my movie. friend? You came to us. <laughs> was it two years ago? Two years ago you with no history. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, no track my record. My repository has been disabled. <laughs> Actually, I found XE on my Mac. A lot of people with Homebrew would have it installed yep. because it's a utility. It's just a question of whether it was going to be updated. And uh, I, it, there is a fix that downgraded it to the old version. So right. that, but uh, you may have it if you have WSL running on your Windows machine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's because it's not something you would install, but it's something no, many it, other tools. It's in install. a package. It is a proper supply chain attack. Yeah, including OpenSSH. Might, he might have literally target. saved the world. I, yeah, I, he this might is have. incredible, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, Andres Freund, who is a German Microsoft employee. Mm -hmm. Do we know what he yeah. does? Don't yeah, know. he works on Debian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for Microsoft. Microsoft. Like, okay. This is, okay. He, it, this is the thing, you know, it's hard to explain. It, I don't actually know what he does, but think about how big Microsoft is. Think about how much Linux is happening up in Azure. Yep. Um, it, it's probably related to that. It, it, it To a lot of people who think about Microsoft on the outside, it's not what we think of when we think of Microsoft. No. But of course, they must have, they have these people, right? Well. And uh, listen, if this doesn't fix Microsoft's Reputation with the open source community, nothing will. Mm. This is if this if this doesn't do it. I mean, what what, what do we have? What what's what, what you know? What could you do to to solve this problem? I, I do like it that so he found it. Uh, he says uh, he found an obfuscated script which was executed at the end of a configure. Mm -hmm. 
uh, but he was able to unobfuscate it. And one of the things it does is it copies a file called Bad Three Corrupt LZMA Two. <laughs> so you know, Jeez. okay, just uh, a little tip to uh, to yeah, hackers. Does, <laughs> right, Don't, right. Better name. No, 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 no. Yep. There's actually I appreciate more, that was stamina, a long time maybe existing a little more detail file. It was a that file. Oh, because it's a test file. It's a test LZMA file. test file. That's right. So it isn't from the bad guy. No. It, well, it was from the bad guy. The bad guy modified an existing test oh. file, so you would ignore it. It had always been there. Wow. No, no. This there. There are That's many so sneaky. levels of clever here. Steve uh, Gibson did yeah. a whole half hour on it yesterday. It deserves every minute. The of it. whole, you know, and I think oh, it's I a bet novel. he touches on it again in the future. Yeah. I think we're going to learn a lot mm -hmm. more. Yeah. Well, well, we've been talking about supply chain attacks on security now mm -hmm. for years. I mean, this has been a problem. There were a bunch last week on NPM and uh, Pi Pi. And it right. just happens a lot. On .NET Rocks, we talk about the sort of corporatization of open source, where all the big players are now right. there, and there's a lot yeah. of paid employees working in open right. source as well. Well, and the effect that has on the community as a whole. But one of the things you talk about is this burnout of the maintainers. That was the you real know? problem yeah. with the XE, which is it was yeah. one guy. Yep. Yeah. He had some mental health right. issues. He wanted to get out of it. Yeah. He, and he, here was and along came the, uh, the came along came this savior. perfect solution. Right. right. Amazing. Yeah. And it and it's it, like the scene in the omen where the nanny shows up and she's they're like, We didn't call a nanny. And it's like, no, the, the agency sent me. It's all good. <laughs> and then two years go by, the kid's fine. The agency the has in the devil. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's the same. It's it's this classic scenario. Yeah. Was it perhaps Satan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all for you, Damien. <laughs> what a great movie, by the way. Yeah. I love that movie. Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me.